Brown should not resign, says Jamie Fremantle from the West Midlands, nor should he be removed from his party like Margaret Thatcher was. It should be up to the public to get rid of him in a general election. And here's one supporting the Prime Minister, well, sort of, Jerry in Leeds, who says, I felt the Prime Minister spoke very well, seeing he sounded quite unwell and rather subdued. He came out fighting and gave a good performance. Are we in a Thatcher 1990 position? We're not in an identical situation at all because two things are missing. Unlike Margaret Thatcher, Gordon Brown hasn't been in office for years and isn't resisting those who are saying he ought to go. She was removed from office partly for that reason. Remember that she said to my predecessor, John Cole, that she would go on and on and on and that was what triggered the opposition. The other thing was a major ideological split right through the Tory party, still exists to some extent, over the issue of Europe with Geoffrey Hamm saying he had had enough. So no, we're not. But where we are at is a situation where we simply do not know whether Gordon Brown now has the backing of his cabinet. And he will find out when he tries to reshuffle it. Uh, there are people coming out. Jeff Hoon's done so today. Peter Mandelson have come out. Jackie Smith, who says she's retiring from the cabinet and said that they do support him. If he can get enough people, if he can seem as though he can get the show back on the road... Let's be clear, very difficult though it is for him, it is still possible for Gordon Brown to pull through this. However, You, you mean in Blears, terms of surviving? Indeed, but Hazel Blears has, in my view, triggered effectively a leadership contest. The Labour Party have a choice now. Do they have it out? Do they make this decision? Do they have a choice? Or do they say, no, nope, we're not going to do it. We go on with Brown till the next election. David Cameron had an open goal today. He got there in the end, probably give you towards the end the soundbite that will appear on the network news tonight. But he had a pretty faltering start. Well, it was very quiet, wasn't it? But I suspect that was partly because getting the tone right on these days is very difficult. He is accused often of looking like Lord Snooty and his pals. That's the private eye joke about him, a sort of public school bully. Doesn't play well with the public, but more importantly, doesn't play at all well with the Labour backbenchers, who would then have rallied to the Prime Minister's support. I thought was struck by the capacity the Prime Minister showed, which he doesn't always show, frankly, to keep his cool, keep his composure, sound calm. Uh, and appeal essentially to backbenchers on both sides of the house saying we're all under pressure. The message is this is a chamber of people who are all feeling pretty damn miserable because of the expenses scandal that affects them regardless of whether they're in cabinet, in the Labour Party, in the Tory Party. All MPs are now feeling for the first time often in their professional careers personally vilified in a way that they frankly loathe. All prime ministers are vulnerable in, in reshuffles like this to the sort of questions that are asked, Jeff, you knew that the prime minister today, today forced to say great things about the chancellor by the questions from the leader of the opposition, which, if he's moved come the reshuffle, will lead us all to say, well, if he was that great, why was he? He, he moved. And, and that's not unique to Mr. Brown's position. All prime ministers find themselves in this position. I don't accept, incidentally, that he was forced to say this. I think people in the country recognise that Alistair Darling has had this job in the most difficult circumstances faced by any Chancellor in a very long time and he has been doing and continues to do an extremely good job managing the country through these so very turbulent economic circumstances. So he shouldn't be moved then? Uh, I have a great deal of admiration for Alistair. I think he 